All right, listen up. I had another video planned for today, but I changed my mind after watching some videos on Instagram and YouTube. NBA 2K24 is supposed to be releasing in a few weeks, and we're getting to see the trailers and all the new features that are supposed to be coming with the new game. And let me just say, I have bought 2K every single year on release day or the day after, ever since NBA 2K13. That, ladies and gentlemen, is more than a decade of buying this game very early on. This year is the year that that changes. I'm not planning on buying NBA 2K24 on release day, and I'm going to tell you why. Here's the facts. 2K has gotten way too greedy, and this announcement that they announced earlier this week has pushed them over the edge. I'm done with 2K. Because earlier this week, 2K announced that NBA 2K24 will have a new season pass that you can get rewards from. And many people are comparing it to Epic Games and Fortnite's Battle Pass. But here's the difference. Fortnite is a free game to play. You do not have to have the Battle Pass to be competitive. Trust me, I know because I have played and I never bought the Battle Pass. But I know 2K. There will be cheesy animations and boosts that are inside of this season pass. And honestly, look at what's happened when you try and play as a random. If you don't have that stuff from Swags or all of the newest apparel, you ain't getting paired up with some random. They're going to pass right by you. I promise that. So, this season pass is going to cost you a minimum of $90 a year if they do the nine seasons like they did in NBA 2K23. And that is only for the pro pass, which is like the middle of the way. There's a free pass, a pro pass, and then a Hall of Fame pass that's going to put you over 200 bucks. And that's after spending at least $70 on the base game. And then whatever you choose to spend, if you want to be competitive in the park and the rack and whatever you want to do with your my player, it's a shame because 2K is turning into EA. And I've been a pretty heavy advocate for people to boycott Madden altogether since Madden 21 because EA does not want to produce good football games because they don't have to because they are the only people with an exclusive NFL license. 2K is the same way. They have a monopoly on the basketball market right now. The NBA has an exclusive licensing agreement with 2K. So if you want a basketball game this fall, you're going to have to get 2Ks. I think it's time to quit with NBA 2K on release day. I really do. I'm not going to say all together at this point because who knows? This game could be great. But don't spend $70 and then the season pass as well. That's ridiculous. Listen, I paid the $70 plus I think like 20 bucks for some VC and 2K23. And I stopped playing it in December and had it deleted off my Xbox by March because straight up, it wasn't fun. It was cheesy. It was just not good gameplay. It was horrible. And King of the Fourth Quarter said the best. Any other market that wasn't the sports market, this would not work. If you did this with a war game like Call of Duty or Halo or anything like that, what 2K tries to push, it wouldn't work. It just wouldn't. The game would fail. But somehow, because it's a sports game, it can slide. So, NBA 2K23 was a terrible game. Most likely, NBA 2K24 is going to be no better. It's going to be a slap to Kobe Bryant, the fact that he gets to grace the cover of what's most likely such an awful game, just like Michael Jordan with 2K23. And I'm not going to lie, the first, I don't know, week of NBA 2K23 I had fun because it was like kind of challenging. The people really weren't like, it's, they hadn't found the glitches or anything or cheesing or anything like that. So it was kind of fun and kind of competitive. And like the Jordan challenges were all right. They were kind of easy, but I kind of quit that after that. And then I tried like the My Era stuff. That was a step in the right direction. But then I put my $20 into my My Player, and that made him a whopping 75 overall, which if you've played NBA 2K before, you know that a 75 is like a bum, and I did not put any of that VC into clothes. I only put it into attributes and boosts, which are essential to be competitive in today's 2K market. So you know what I did after I got rid of NBA 2K23? I re-downloaded, I put the disc back in for NBA 2K16, which is my favorite 2K of all time, and it's been a blast. I've had so much fun. I've made a new My Player, and it's just so simple. It goes back to such simpler times, and I know the servers are dead, so you're not going to be able to play online, but still, 
even when the servers were up, it's not like how it is now. Like, VC wasn't being thrown in your face. 2K really cared about making a great basketball game for their consumers. Now, it's just a business, and they're just worried about making the most money. When I started playing in 2012, I fell in love with the game. I couldn't get off it. Learning how to beat my dad in a Play Now game is a core childhood memory that I will remember for the rest of my life. Or in NBA 2K20, when I had nothing better to do during COVID than to just run park with the boys at 3 a.m. But now it's just frustration and cheese and microtransactions that, quite frankly, have gone too far. When you have Chris Smooth and King of the Fourth Quarter, two 2K vets calling you out on your BS, you know you're in the wrong. I don't see how one person can see this as a positive thing. Like, oh great, I'm going to spend 70 bucks on a minimum for the base game. Then I'll spend mm, 40 or $50 to get my player to an 80 overall. Then I'll take another $20 to get the Hall of Fame season pass. And I'll do this every single month. So 20 bucks times 9 or 10 seasons, you're looking at about 200 bucks. That is insanity. I hope more people are like me and don't buy this game on release date, and I really hope absolutely no one spends a dime on this season pass, even though I know people will, because straight up people will just do whatever and they'll spend money on random crap. But how I see it is that for $70, I could do a lot of things. I could get a round of golf. I'm a big golfer, so I could buy a bunch of golf balls. I mean, a tank of gas, which it's a shame that that's how much it costs to fill up gas, but like I drive an SUV, so that's just how much it costs. I could buy some clothes that I could wear in videos. I could buy video equipment. I mean, I could buy a lot of things. I'll tell you, I will not be buying with that $70 is NBA 2K24, because unfortunately, 2K is turning into the next EA, and unfortunately, they are going to fold in the same way.